Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, T Maso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email T Maso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we're discussing a limited edition of 188 pieces launched in 2021 in blackened grade 5 titanium. This is the Girard Perigo Laureato absolute chronograph gold fever edition do you have the fever if you do gerard pergo has the cure for what ails you now it's a large watch but not a huge watch at 44 millimeters in diameter it's 14.9 millimeters thick and from lug to lug 53.4 millimeters so i'm going to throw it on my wrist my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference and actually fits quite well. I would say if your wrist is my size or larger, so 16 centimeters circumference or larger, you're going to find this watch wears quite nicely. It's not excessively thick for this type of watch, especially considering the water resistance, the automatic winding, and the modular chronograph. I would have expected it to be more than 15 millimeters thick. It's less, and that's all to its credit. Also, in titanium and sapphire and rubber, it's a light presence on the wrist. Light, wieldy, and comfortable. This is a fascinating strap. First, it uses FKP technology, which is a sort of polymer that allows actual gold to be injected into the rubber. And what you're looking at here is very much rubber. Though it has a textile pattern molded into it, it's actually all rubber. There's no threading here, with the exception of this binding type stitch outboard, which doesn't actually bind anything, so it's rubber top and bottom. So this is a true gold-infused rubber strap, and it comes with a second black strap if you don't quite want to flaunt it. But it's an integrated design because since 1975 and the first Laureato, that was one of the original integrated bracelet sports watches from the era that spawned the most memorable examples of the genre. Well, it has always been part of the Laureato tradition to either have the strap or the bracelet integrated with a taper as though it were a bracelet. You can also see that there's some faceting in profile to match the fasting of the lugs. It's a nicely detailed strap with that exotic element of incorporating gold. Now we have here a blackened titanium clasp with the GP logo twin trigger release, so it's not going to randomly open. It must be released least consciously by pressing both triggers. You can see that the attention to detail is superb, as this blackened titanium on the clasp includes both polish and satination, even on small components. Now, internally, we've got a fun feature that allows you to fine-tune the fit, as there's this little push button here. Uh, it's a rack and a lock that allows you to fine-tune the fit by changing the position of the prongs that gain purchase on the strap. And when you do fit the strap into the clasp right here, I'll show you how this works, you actually fit it in, it tucks under, and then you clamp it down, and all excess length hides underneath the strap, so it's very neat when sized, and there's no need for strap minder loops externally. Now, rolling around back to the case itself, you could say that the Laureato Absolute, which has been around since 2019, is to the Laureato what the Royal Oak Offshore is to the Royal Oak. It's bigger, bolder, it's, it's a more sporty and overtly aggressive style with some capabilities that the standard watch wouldn't have. So you could see here there's a combination of polish, and satination, and that's only possible with grade five titanium. You can't, you can't polish the grade two stuff. So this is the good stuff. Satination is transverse across the top, longitudinal on the sides. Then we have a bunch of polished elements, including the plinth and the outer facets of the bezel, with satination across the top of the bezel. Note that the shape of the bezel is also the shape of the crown. So little mirrors of one of Gerard Perigo's most distinctive design elements. And then on the dial, we have lovely polished rose gold sub-registers and a sandwich style dial construction where there's a stencil. And then underneath that, you can see the metallic elements. We're used to seeing this on Panerai watches, less so on Auto Logerie. You'll also appreciate that the hands are well detailed with polished facets on their sides and then satination across their top. Plus, if you look at the counterweight of the seconds hand and the shape of the hour and minute hands, you can see they're shaped like one half of a Girard Perigo golden bridge, as in Tourbillon with three golden bridges. So you have elements of that design here, as well as the Laureato design cues. The dial's matte black with white printing, so it's a high contrast look. We're going to turn the lights off so you can get a sense. The watch has plenty of luminescence. And with a screw-down crown, it is 300 meters water resistant, which is quite impressive. Remember, Royal Oak Offshore Chrono is only 100 meters. This is 300. Flip it upside down, you can see the Laureato Absolute logo. And 
GP, one of the few companies that actually tries to give you a more accurate translation of meters to feet of water resistance. A lot of times, many companies, including a famous brand from Geneva, simply write 300 meters, 1,000 feet. 985 is a lot closer to reality. We have a modular chronograph based on a GP3300 base, unidirectional automatic winding, 46-hour power reserve, hacking seconds, quick set date, seamless meshing, vertical clutch chronograph operation, 63 pivot joules, and a 4 hertz beat rate. And, of course, this is Gerard Perigo's own base, which is nicely hand-decorated and considered to be a worthy and classic high horology tractor automatic. So, reach out to tmasa at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.